Okay. Not used to going live on here. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it like this. I don't even know. All right. Let me share this. If I can find a way to copy. I normally don't go live on YouTube. I usually just um, I usually just upload pre-recorded live videos I do on Facebook. So give me a second. I'm just going to um, see if I can share this live on my Facebook. One second. But thank you for joining. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Okay. Let me just put, I am live on my YouTube channel. Join me if you can. I'll just do that. And then I'll put the link. It's not letting me do a link. Sorry, how do I do this? Oh, here, copy. There we go. Then come over here. Paste. Oh, that's a pain on the butt. All right. There. Okay. Hey, Denise. Hey, Joanne. I just followed her. Oh, thank you. Yay. So I'm just kind of, kind of bored and um, just wanting to do some painting. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this head. I was just on my Facebook page and I did this um, half Jack and half Sally. I finished it. Well, I have some stuff to do. And I thought, hey, why not go live on this, my YouTube? I never come live on here. So I thought I would. And just go ahead and do a tutorial. Um, usually I, I've been doing a few tutorials now and then on my Facebook. Usually that's mostly for my group. But, uh. We're going to do a simple eye tutorial. Nothing fancy, something simple. So, hi, Sandra. Sandra's from the UK. Awesome. Glad to have you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up. And if you can share, I don't know how this share. I was able to share it to my Facebook. I'm not sure how sharing goes to another YouTube. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not savvy on sharing to uh going live on YouTube. East Coast for Diane. Awesome. Thanks for being here. So I'm going to do this kind of like a tutorial so that if anybody um, you can follow along or and watch the replay of it on my page. So I have a prepped styrofoam head. If you need to know how to prep a head, go to my shop, creepyholidaystuff.com. I have a, a few tutorials. The tutorial I highly recommend is the class replay. That one shows you all the tips I've learned and tips and tricks and everything I do to get a smooth surface, along with brush preferences, paint preferences, um, all the supplies I use to create. And there's also a bonus tutorial on how to completely make this one. Um, and that's the class replay. The tutorial where it shows um, a smooth head and a a pitted head that just says uh, how I prep my heads. That one is almost three years old and it doesn't have the tips that I learned along the way. So again, I highly recommend the class tutorial. Thank you, Joanne. I'm glad you enjoy it. So I prepped her and this, this paint I used on her is ceramic coat. Um, it's rosy beige. I like that skin tone. It's a pretty color. So, and I use sketch and wash, general sketch and wash pencils. These are the best because when you do your design, you paint it, when you're done, you just get a damp paper towel or a rag and you just wipe off the pencil. It comes off so easy. 
Not hard at all. Regular pencil can sometimes give you trouble. I'm sure there's other brands, but this is the brand I use and I highly recommend. So you have um, some form of facial features, not a lot. There's other styrofoam heads that have more. Uh, specifically at Hobby Lobby, you can get some that have very distinct feature features. These ones have enough to get us by and uh, show you how to do things, right? So you can see the indent here of the bottom of the eye, and this is like a lid. It kind of bubbles up. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pencil. I'm not going to go all the way to the inside corner. I'm going to go right next to it. Just draw my line. Come up a little ways because she'll have a wing, I'm sure. Do the same thing on this. Side. These heads do have a slight tilt to them at this way so sometimes it can make it a little tricky especially when you're doing the mouth but we'll get to that this is mainly for the eyes so um the eyelid goes to about right there so i only want to go about three quarters of the way up the eyelid to about right here and then i'm just going to come down you can do a little curve where the tear duct will be and then I come down here. I'm not going to go all the way to the end of the eyeball because I don't want a really huge eye. So I'll come about right there. Same thing on this side. Go about three quarters of the way up. And you can adjust the eye when you start painting because sometimes you'll look at it and go, oh, okay, it's perfect. Then you start painting it and you're like, oh my God, that doesn't look even at all. So don't worry about it. You could fix anything when you're painting. So then you want to look at your head, like this one is, I made it too wide. Look at your head straight on, and then you're going to do your eyeballs. So we're going to do her top of her eyeball hidden underneath that eye, top eyelid and then touching the bottom. So I'm going to start here, come around, let it touch the bottom, and then come up. See how most of the eyeball is hidden underneath the top lid? That's how we're doing her eyes tonight. You also want to pay attention. Pay attention to how much white of the eye you're going to have on each side. If you see a drastic, like, oh my gosh, there's so much here and just very little here, then kind of adjust whatever needs to be adjusted. Either the eyeball, you might have one eyeball bigger than the other, or you might have your line higher or lower than what you, you know, thought you had. So just try to fix it as much as you can. Okay. And let's see, for reference, we'll go ahead and just do a pupil right in the center. Just right there. Okay. And again, once we start painting, I'll be able to see where the differences is. So we're going to go ahead and give her some eyebrows, of course. So you could feel on styrofoam head like there is um, a brow bone. So right underneath that brow bone, we're going to start and we're just going to do a line and then come up to where that brow bone is. And that's where we're going to arch it. Just going to do a mild one. Nothing too fancy. Thicken it up as I paint it, but just want to get the baseline there. Okay. Well, looks like my went. Looks like I went. Um, there we go. It was blurry. Now, what I do to um, keeps getting blurry. Sorry if you guys are seeing blurry. Um, what I like to do to try to get it even is I, I'll just take my hand and reach around and just kind of see where this this side is and start here to get it as close as possible. not always easy to get the eyebrows perfect but as close as you can then once I get it I'll start doing my curve and then just look back and forth till I feel like it's as close to even as possible if it's not super even don't even worry about it just do your best nobody's eyes are perfect okay and again, we'll thicken those up um, when I start painting them. So 
I'm going to jump right in there and I'm going to outline her eyes. I'm going to go ahead and outline them in black. Okay, let's get some oh, the terrible brush. I might have to switch. So outline didn't go into that little hi Debbie. Um, I didn't go into the tear duct yet. Just outlining right now. So this one I can tell already is bigger than the other one. But that's okay. I'll fix it. She's going to have a wing anyway. And again, just pay attention to how much room you have on each side of the eyeball and you can adjust it more you know as you're as you're doing it okay now we're gonna go around the eye I'm using kind of a crappy brush right now Let me change brushes. It's just giving me too much trouble. Too much trouble. Then we'll put the pupil there just for reference. We can fix that later also. So there we go. Now I'm just going to come down. Connect that just a little bit. If it looks funky, don't even worry. Use your base paint to fix it. Okay. Now we're going to go into the white and put the white of the eyes. It takes a couple of coats, so. Careful if your paint is still wet. And try to, don't worry about going into the black, it's fine. Um, go into the corners. It'll look kind of rough at first, but when you do your touch ups, it'll look good. But this is your chance to go into the each little corner underneath the eye. So you don't have to try to get in there later. We're just doing our first coat. So there's a lot of ways to do eyes. This is just one of my ways of the simplest ways, you know, and then you can practice from there. Okay. I didn't even decide on an eye color. Um, how did you get started painting mannequin heads? Your work is awesome. Thank you, Diane. Um, I started out doing wreaths and um, like Halloween wreaths. And um, I saw a mannequin head. And the lady that didn't, I don't even see her name anymore. She's 
she wasn't like really well known. She had just done a really simple head with a lot of flowers and stuff. And it just, oh my God, right when I saw it, I just, I knew that's what I had to do. And I, I started from there and my thing is creepy. I love doing scary stuff, but I also like doing pretty things, you know, um, and that's just how it started. I just, I've always painted and, and drew ever since I was little, but just something drew me to the, doing the mannequin heads and I've just had so much fun doing them. Um, okay. Let me think here. Like I said, I didn't even think of a color. Uh, let's do something different. Lavender is a really pretty color, like violet eyes. Those are super pretty. Um, how about an emerald? Let's do emerald green. This is a metallic deco art extreme sheen emerald. Let's do these. You can do any color. This the, the way that I'm going to show you how I do this. You can do blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes. Um, I really love doing hazel. Uh, those are pretty colors. But we're going to get fancy. We're going to do some emerald. The extreme sheen, it's kind of gooky. you really got to shake it really good. You got me hooked. Awesome, Jeffy. It's fun. You know, it's fun because... The ideas are freaking endless of what you can create. Oh, and another thing. Um, well, you'd have to look at my past videos. But another pretty eye color that's super simple is just using black and white. Doing the same thing I'm going to do right here, but using white in here. And they turn out super awesome. I like to do that for like some of my Halloween heads. So I'm going to get one coat of this emerald it's a very pretty color but it's not going to look like this when we're done because we're going to do some mixing with the black and some white but we need to get the base of it in here Okay, so that's the base. And here's a good time, too, to look and say, okay, do my eyes look like they're the same size? And if they don't, just fix. Try your best to fix it. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to go back with a little more white. Hopefully it's dry. Okay, give that a second to dry. Well, that's drying. I'm going to grab this. I have a little fly I have to do on here. I just want to take care of it now so I don't forget. Give my eyeballs a chance to dry. Okay, I'll need another coat. Yeah, Diane, they do. The, the green, the emerald is really, really uh, stands out. Again, it's going to lessen. I mean, you can make it stay popped um, by not adding too much of the darkness around it and the white. But you'll see as I go along, just depends on what you do with it to uh, keep the color or lower it. Let's see. So we're going to use black, white, and the emerald. So I'm going to start by going over. Now you can use folk art blending gel if you want. That helps keep your paint, you know, moist and you can keep blending it if you want, if you have trouble with blending. Um, I only like using it for certain things because 
like doing the eyes, there's a point where I don't want it to keep blending. I want it, you know, kind of dry and go, you know, so I don't use it very often at all doing the eyes, but you can if you want. So I'm going to go back over my outline. Don't worry if it's too thick. It's okay. I'm going to wipe my brush off, come back to the emerald, put some more in there. Wipe that, and then I'm just going to go around and pull that black. Short lines, long lines. If it dries on you, get a little more. Short lines, long lines. How much black you put is going to depend on how much of that green you're going to keep. So keep that in mind. So just go through a few times, little short lines, little long lines. Wipe your brush. Come in. We're doing the simplest way. This is a very simple way to get yourself some cute eyes without getting too fancy. I'm going to go in with a little bit of white here, 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 here. Wipe my brush and just kind of go around. Maybe a little bit more. You're only going around between the outline of the iris and the pupil. Don't go all the way to the outline. Now wipe your brush and come back to your emerald. And just dab a little bit around the black outline. Just like that. You can even come in with your black and redo your pupil. Wipe off the excess and just carefully pull out little tiny bits. And when I say little, I mean very little. Make sure you have a very pointed liner. It's already drying on me. But that's okay. I got it out. Okay, then we're going to come back to the white. Just a little more. Okay, and get the black again and redo your outline, not too heavy. So I went ahead and did this eye to keep some strong emerald so it's not so um, blended. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go through. Now I'm gonna take some white and I got barely any on there and I'm just going to dab it on my hand because I want to make some highlight right here but I want very very little just going in between the outline and the pupil And I'm only doing it on this side. Because it's like the light is shining this way on the eye. Okay, now I'm going to take, now I usually, I usually show, like in my group, um, there's a few different ways, or, well, there's many different ways to highlight. One way is to think of this eyeball, okay, think of it as a clock, and um, only, you know, the outline in the whole iris part is a clock. So, right between the pupil and the iris, between 10 and 11, you would put a dot, and then between four and five, 
between the pupil and the iris, you would put a smaller dot. It's a very simple way to highlight, super easy, um, and it looks good. For this highlight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right above. I'm not going to get a lot of paint on um, between 10 and 11, but I'm going to start above the pupil, and I'm just going to kind of push down a little bit, zigzag it, and bring it, and it stops at the pupil. I'll go ahead and put a little small dot between four and five. That's it. Okay. Now, um, before we do this one, I'm just going to finish this eyeball here. I need some more white in here because it doesn't look good. All right, so now we're going to take some black eyeshadow. And there's a few different things. You can use a little tiny paintbrush, or I'm going to use this really short, stubby, firm uh, eyeshadow brush. Chill, leave it. Dog over there crunching her skin. I'm going to put just a little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm just going to go right around the outline of the eyeball to create a shadow. It gives a more realistic look to the eye. If you get too much, don't worry. You could always add some um, white paint. Just redo it. I don't want to touch that side because I know it's wet. You can do this with paint. It doesn't have to be eyeshadow. And then I also add a little black just right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take some red eyeshadow. And I'm using this very tiny little paintbrush, little short, tiny one. Get some red. You could do this with paint also. And I'm going to put it right there in that corner. Blow to get rid of any fallout. This is just a simple way to do it. You can get much more detailed with paint. But this does the job. Hopefully it's dry enough over here. I don't know if it is. I like to go right along where the, like, the water line will be. And a little bit up. I don't want to do too much because I think it's wet there. And you can also um, take a little liner, some white, just barely, and just maybe add a dot in there. You just kind of adds to the tear duct. Let me see if it's dry enough to do the shadow over here. If it's wet, it'll smear and it'll look terrible. I see you got a little too dark there, but that's okay. Take some white. Just kind of blend it so it's not so strong. Okay, not done, not done. What did I do with my hair? So now I'm going to take some black. I'm going to put some underneath her eye before I start doing any kind of glossing on it because if you get gloss on the skin, then you can't 
can't do an eye shadow. So I'm just using black eyeshadow going underneath her eye. And I'm going to go ahead and come up because I'm going to give her a wing. And actually, I should have, well, I'm thinking, I'm talking to myself in my brain. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking I should have did the white and the black eyes because some crystal glitter would look awesome with black eyeshadow there. Let me go ahead and do her eyebrow. I might just do this eye. Then I can come on tomorrow or something and do the other eye. So if somebody wants to follow along tomorrow, I can. they can follow along while I finish the other eye. We'll see. Who's following along my outline? And I want it a little thickened up here. Come down to a point. Okay. Nothing fancy. That's good enough. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use some triple thick on her eyeball before I do anything else. Get a nice gloss going. So, I did use eyeshadow, so I'm just going to dab it because it'll well smear. This will actually make her color pop more. And make sure you don't have any drips because if it drips down, it'll look terrible. Um, and then dab it. Just a little dab on where you have the eyeshadow. Once it has a seal, you could go over it again. Don't brush it because you'll smear it and it'll look terrible. Okay, so we have that first part done. And I'm going to put this emerald away because I'm not going to mess with it right now. All right, so now I'm going to do her wing. So we're going to come up. Yeah, we're just going to meet it right into the eye. And then we're going to thicken her eye line. So a better look. Okay. So let me think for a second. Um, what I want to do. I see I'm not even prepared. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do um, I think I'm going to do black eyeshadow. Let's see. And glitter on the eyelid, but I can't do any glitter right now because I have the gloss. But I want the glitter to go, um, let's see, from probably right there down. So right where the, the lid ends on the top part, just follow along there. So this is where the glitter will go, okay? 
haven't decided on a color yet, but we have time for that. For now, I'm going to turn it upside down because I don't want the fallout to go in the gloss. And I'm, well, I have paint there too. Just blow when you're using eyeshadow. And uh, I'm just going to shadow right along that line. I know it looks a little weird, but it's going to be on top of the glitter. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I super appreciate it. And if you could share this video, um, please do. Okay, so I'm just adding this nice black shadowing. Not sure how high I want to come up yet, but that's good enough for now. Okay. Um, what color? What color? What color? What color? Let me get my crystal frost. One second. I got to get my um, crystal frost glitter if I can get past my light find it this one is not the one I want. Here it is. Found it. All right. So, oh, sorry. Before I add the crystal frost, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, crystal frost. Um, I'm going to add white so that if any of the glitter doesn't show up well, you're not going to really be able to tell because it's going to have white underneath. So we're going to add white. And I don't want to go in this eye line because I need room for her lashes. I need a skinnier brush. So that's where the glitter is going to go. Just bringing her point down. And I want to bring a little bit of the black down while I'm waiting for that paint to dry. Go ahead and do a line right there. Okay. I'm just going to darken up this. Okay, this shadow 
we can go all the way up. All right. Okay, I think the white is, is uh, dry enough. So now we're going to do the glitter. To hold the glitter, I'm going to use some... Um, Here it is, some Eileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. And I'm gonna get a piece of paper so that the glitter has something to fall onto. All right, I'm gonna use a pointy, like a liner, just so I can get in those little corners make sure you don't go on the eye line if you go a little bit over it's okay you'll use a flat brush to straighten it out but go right up to the line of the shadow because you don't want there to be a gap between the glitter or the shadow Just gonna get right into this little corner. Get as close as you can. Just like that. All right. Just get any kind of flat brush. Angled one is usually better. Get your glitter. Get them out on there. And then dab it. glow on it and just kind of adjust your glitter where you want it to be. Make sure it's not on that eye line, the black eye line, because that's for your lashes or on the wing. And especially not on the eyeball. Now this would be a good time if your head was all done to spray it so that everything will be nice and sealed before you put your lashes on. But because I'm not doing the whole head, I'm just doing the eyes. I'm not going to go seal it because I have more to do. Okay, so now I'm going to do some lashes. I'm going to use some full, full lashes here. Just like a regular eyeball. You want to see, because you know that you'll make the size different all the time. You might need more eyelash, less eyelash, just depends on the size that you made. So I'm just going to double check, put it up against. So it fits almost perfect. It does go quite a bit far down. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to snip just a little tiny piece. I think she has a little too too much length. You can see all these lashes. I... Okay. Then I'm going to take a liner. <clears throat> and I'm going to put just a little bit on the eye line. Very little. Not a lot. Just a little bit to help it grab. Okay, and then on the lash, mm. just kind of 
curve it. Lay it down. Sits on there perfect. I forgot to get rid of this glitter. One second. Just watch it because if you put too much, it will start sliding on you. Now, you can also... I don't have any under eyelashes, but I do have some full ones. So she has like spider eyes. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Oh, no, I didn't. I grabbed the right one. Always remember when you're doing the bottom lashes. For example, I'm going to do her this eye, which is my right side. Normally, this eyelash goes on the left top, but if I'm going to use it for a bottom, I'm going to take the left one, flip it upside down, and it's going to go on um, that side. And it's going to go down. So it's too long. We're going to cut almost two sections off. Now, because I have eyeshadow on the bottom. I'm not going to put any glue on the bottom. I'm just going to put it directly here on the lash. Like that. And stick it on there. Yikes. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. There's already glue on it, so it makes it stick. I just get a little bit more. So, I like... I like the uh, ends to kind of meet with the top lash if you can. But you really have to watch because it will go upward on you because especially when you cut it, it changes the shape. And if you're not using a quick dry glue, it's going to move on you and it's going to make you, make you mad. I like to use, I have an angle on the bottom of this uh, paintbrush it's an angle it can helps me kind of get it situated there's our eye there it is just really simple nothing fancy um, get as close as I can for you to see without it getting blurry you can see the shadowing around the eye uh, there's not a whole lot of detail in the eye on this, but there's just enough to make it look, you know, pretty. And we didn't lose a lot of the emerald because I didn't go too dark. So there's the eye. I hope this helps. I might go live uh, tomorrow or another day and finish this eye. I just got to get a little more idea what I'm going to do with this head. I might just do her like this, you know, have simple eyeshadow with glitter um, I have to look and see what kind of lipstick I want to put on her and some eyeshadow or some cheek blush and just leave her like that. But there it is. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube. Um, if you subscribed, thank you. And I hope to see you again. I'll definitely be coming live here again. Thanks. Good night.